In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning to you all, and welcome to our online Mass from Kilkarim on the Feast of the Baptism of the Lord. Let us offer this Mass for Margaret McKeon, George and Sissy McNamee, Fiona Hamill, Peter and Maureen Goss, Florence Harvey, Nancy Harrison, Derek Younger, Kathy Vans, Sheila O'Rourke, Bridget and John Dillon, Tom, Annie and Tom Jr. Martin, Rita, John, Laura and Brian Mostyn, deceased family members of Reynolds family, John Rogers, Macy McKeon and Kathleen Dennison, whose anniversaries occur at this time. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, let perpetual light shine upon them, and may they rest in peace. Amen. Brothers and sisters, to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd leading us into everlasting life, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who, when Christ had been baptized in the river Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved Son, grant that your children by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well-pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, O come to the water, all you who are thirsty, though you have no money, come. Buy corn without money and eat and at no cost wine and milk. Why spend money on what is not bread, your wages on what fails to satisfy? Listen, listen to me, and you will have good things to eat and rich food to enjoy. Pay attention, come to me, listen, and your soul will live. With you I will make an everlasting covenant out of the favours promised to David. See, I have made of you a witness to the peoples a leader and a master of the nations. See, you will summon a nation you never knew. Those unknown will come hurrying to you for the sake of the Lord your God, of the Holy One of Israel who will glorify you. Seek the Lord while he is still to be found. Call to him while he is still near. Let the wicked man abandon his way, the evil man his thoughts. 
Let him turn back to the Lord, who will take pity on him, to our God, who is rich in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, my ways not your ways. It is the Lord who speaks. Yes, the heavens are as high above earth as my ways above your ways, my thoughts above your thoughts. Yes, as the rain and the snow come down from the heavens and do not return without watering the earth, making it yield and giving growth to provide seed for the sower and bread for the eating, so that the word that goes from my mouth does not return to me empty without carrying out my will and succeeding in what it is sent to do. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. The response is, with joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Truly, God is my salvation. I trust, I shall not fear. For the Lord is my strength. My song, he became my saviour. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord. Give praise to his name. Make his mighty deeds known to the peoples. Declare the greatness of his name. Sing a psalm to the Lord, for he has done glorious deeds. Make them known to all the earth. People of Zion, sing and shout for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Second reading, a reading from the first letter of John. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ has been begotten by God, and whoever loves the Father that begot him loves the child who he begets. We can be sure that we love God's children if we love God himself and do what he has commanded us. This is what loving God is, keeping his commandments. And his commandments are not difficult because anyone who has been begotten by God has already overcome the world. This is the victory over the world, our faith. Who can overcome the world? Only the man that believes in Jesus is the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who came by water and blood, not with water only, but with water and blood, with the Spirit as another witness, since the Spirit is the truth, so that there are three witnesses, the Spirit, the water, and the blood, and all three of them agree. We accept the testimony of human witnesses, but God's testimony is much greater, and this is God's testimony given as evidence for his son. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Please stand for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. In the course of his preaching, John the Baptist said, Someone is following me, someone who is more powerful than I am, and I am not fit to kneel down and undo the strap of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It was at this time that Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. No sooner had he come up out of the water than he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit like a dove descending on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved, my favor rests on you. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, we celebrate the baptism of Jesus, the moment when God reveals who Jesus is. Water is a powerful symbol throughout the scriptures, from the story of creation and the crossing of the Red Sea, to the wedding feast at Cana and Jesus' encounter with the woman at the well. 
ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ സിമ്പിൾ ഓഫ് ലൈഫ് ആൻഡ് ന്യൂനസ് ആൻഡ് ഓപ്പർച്യൂണിറ്റി ഫോർ ഗോഡ് ടു റീച്ച് ഔട്ട് ടു വേഴ്സ് ബി പ്രസൻറ്റ് വിത്ത് എസ് ആൻഡ് ടീച്ച് എസ് സംതിങ് ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് ആൻഡ് ഓപ്പർച്യൂണിറ്റി ഫോർ ക്ലെൻസിങ് ആൻഡ് ഫ്രഡ് സ്റ്റാൻഡ് അവർ ഗോസ്ബൽ ടുഡേ ടെൽസ് ഓഫ് ജീസസ് ബീങ് ബാപ്റ്റൈസ് ബൈ ജോൺ ഇൻ ദ റിവർ ജോർഡൻ this immersion in water marks the beginning of jesus ministry by approaching john for baptism along with all the others jesus is identifying with the people and allowing himself to be counted among sinners it is a sign that he is submitting to god's will at this crucial moment as soon as he emerges from the jordan jesus sees the heavens open and the voice of god confirming him as beloved son it is a moment of divine approval confirming jesus identity and launching him on his new mission the baptism of jesus is a reminder of our own identity and mission we are beloved daughters and sons of god sisters and brothers of jesus members of god's family In today's first reading we are invited come to the water all you who are all you who are thirsty we are called to the water to that moment when we recognize who Jesus is who we are and our mission to live as children of God today we might consider our own baptism and what it means to us at that moment when we were anointed as priests prophets and kings to what extent do we live this out in our christian lives john points us towards jesus and we can ask do we also point the way to jesus for others how can we be a sign post for others remember today those who remember today those who pointed the way for you at various times in your life maybe a chaplain in school or college a teacher a grandparent a friend a retreat you participated in at various times in our lives we meet these signposts which help us to grow in our faith and deepen our awareness of Christ's love let us celebrate all of these baptismal moments today Let us make the profession of our faith. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. As we celebrate the baptism of the Lord, we affirm our trust in the generosity of our loving father and confidently make our prayers to him today as we celebrate the baptism of the lord we are reminded that through our own baptism we became children of god we pray for grace wisdom and commitment to live the message of christ and become living apostles proclaiming his love and goodness through word and example lord hear us lord graciously hear us we pray for the parents and sponsors of the baptized that they be ever mindful of their promises to keep their children close to their loving god and reminded of his love and care for them lord hear us lord graciously hear us we pray for the baptized throughout the world who suffer persecution for their beliefs that god's power and love may sustain them Lord hear us. Lord graciously hear us. We pray for our Christian churches, all made through one common baptism, that we may be united in spirit and action to live and give true witness to the message of our loving Savior Jesus Christ. Lord hear us. Lord graciously hear us. 
We pray for all those people throughout the world who are suffering from the coronavirus, and particularly those in intensive care. We pray also for the sick and elderly, who at this time are high spent, isolated and unable to see or be with their loved ones. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for peace and reconciliation in the United States at this time of change and uncertainty, that differences can be reconciled peacefully and that good government be restored for the good of all its peoples. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We bow our heads and remember in silence our own personal intentions and the intentions of those who have asked for our prayers. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We remember and pray for Margaret McKeon, George and Sissy McNamee, Fiona Hamill, Peter and Maureen Goss, Florence Harvey, Nancy Harrison, Derek Younger, Kathy Vaz, Sheila O'Rourke, Bridget and John Dillon, Tom, Annie and Tom Jr. Martin, Rita, John, Laura and Brian Mostyn, deceased members of the Reynolds family, John Rogers, Macy McKeon and Kathleen Dennison, for whom this Mass is being offered. We also remember and pray for Breach McGinney, Nee Martin, Joe Duffy and Bernadette O'Connor who died during the week. That they may be raised to everlasting life in the kingdom of heaven. Lord, hear us. We pray through the intercession of Mary as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in it, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God, our Father, we thank you for calling us to be your children, and graciously ask that you hear these prayers which we offer today. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world who lives and reigns forever and ever the lord be with you lift up your hands let us give thanks to the lord our god it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the waters of the Jordan you reveal with signs and wonders a new baptism, so that through the voice that came down from heaven we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us, 
and by the spirit descending in the likeness of a dove we might know that Christ your servant has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor and so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the founder of all holiness may holy therefore be it we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dew fall so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Eamon, Michael, our bishops, and all the clergy, and all who minister indeed in the church. And remember indeed your servants, whom we remember indeed, especially in this Mass today. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him, him and, and with him and in him, and in him O God, God Almighty Father, Father in the, the unity of the Holy Spirit, Spirit all glory and honour is yours forever, forever and, and ever. ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed mm -hmm. by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
അവർ ഫാദർ ഹു ആർട്ട് ഇൻ ഹെവൻ ഹലോ ബി ദൈ നെയിം ദൈ കിങ് ടം കം ദൈ വിൽ ബി ഡൺ ഓൺ എർത്ത് ആ സിറ്റീസ് ഇൻ ഹെവൻ ഗി വസ് ഇസ് ഡേ അവർ ഡെയിലി ബ്രൈഡ് ആൻഡ് ഫോർ ഗി വസ് ഔർ ടെസ് പാസസ് as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and to save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who set your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit may this mingling of the body blood of our lord jesus christ bring it and life to us or save it Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not one to worthy that you end and end of my life, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Mm-hmm. 
nourish with these sacred gifts we humbly entreat your mercy o lord that faithfully listening to your only begotten son we may be your children in name and in truth through christ our lord the lord be with you may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit Amen. our mass is ended let us go in the peace of christ thanks be to god